Loud. Right guys, welcome um, to a really special day for me. I've been uh, very lucky to be invited to, uh, as you'll see, not just a normal game collection, quite a fabulous uh, game collection. So Eddie has very kindly uh, invited me over to his uh, house to do this tour. Uh, I've been really looking forward to it. So there's a lot to get through. Um, what we're going to do is I'll just, I won't call it my usual format because I've only ever done one groom tour before but what I think easiest for me is we'll just pan round slowly talking about each each bookcase and what's in there and then at the end um, Eddie's going to show some of his sort of standout pieces and, and sort of items that mean a bit more to him and this that and the other um, and I'll ask him some questions and there's so much, it's just a feast for the eyes in here, Eddie. it really is. So right, we'll crack on, because like I say, there's a lot to get through. So if we take this this first bookcase, so I'll just look in, we've got a uh, Nintendo DS, uh, we've got numerous loose Game Boys, uh, then we've got a Nintendo GameCube, we've got bloody Game Boy carts there, some other, oh, what we've got here, onto Wii. Wii U, wowza, uh, and then we've got some, is it Saturn there, yep, right. and some J Japanese Saturn, Saturn. Yep. and then at the bottom, wow look at these, so loose NES carts, um, are they Atari 2600 then, what are them? 2600, yeah, yep. and then Spectre, wow you've got some Specky, Specky, C64, oh I didn't see them, whatever I find on my journeys, see them. and then what are these little mini, yeah, they're little mini arcades. They're boxes for like these little figures that you'll see eventually. Okay, so just just this number one bookcase. I mean, bearing in mind it's literally the first bookcase. I mean, I, just, I don't <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess. Do you actually play them? <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Handheld stuff is what I play the most, to be honest. Mm. That is, I get chance to play handhelds quite a lot, so I love getting my uh, RPGs. Yeah. Um, and well, for the DS, you don't get much more than like, RPGs and a few like actiony games, sort of like the Castlevanias. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you got like the front missions, uh, Barnyard Blast, which is a bit like a Castlevania game, Contras. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of stuff. Diana Sisters even came for the DS. And how long have you been sort of collecting for DS? And has it been a while, or is it a Probably relatively about new one? Four or five years. Yeah. I got. I actually got a 3DS. Right. Um, whenever the 3DS came out, I yeah. decided to get that. And obviously, you can play the DS games with it. Right. So, um, because it was so cheap, and you could pick them up on your travels a lot easier. Yeah. Um, I, the collection is a bit bigger than the 3DS. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I mean. What I'm trying to do today, guys, as well, is um, I'm going to try to show you all angles of this room as well, because I, I know a couple of people have mentioned it, because, like I said, there's so much to see. It'd be good just here to see, you know, pretty much everything what Eddie's got in his collection, because there really is some amazing stuff and some quirky stuff as well. Um, far more knowledgeable than me, so it's, it's more of a learning curve for me, really, just to just to see and, and ask him about some of this stuff. So yeah, for um, the, so the Wii always gets overlooked as a, a poor system, but you've got like, like say some quirky titles like this, okay. like the Shadows, Shadows Tail, which is like a, a cool, funky, like 2D platformer. Right, um, from Hudson Soft as well, I know Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but not only that, I mean, it's hard, I should really have this alphabetized, I could go That's straight fine, to what I want. Fine. But again, another cool 2D platformer, I've been, that's actually by the Sega team, I believe. Like the Sonic, not the Sega team, the Sonic team. Okay. So is it really from the creators of Sonic? Wow, never even heard of it as what well. Is it? Ivy, Ivy the Kiwi, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So again, I, I would consider the Wii as a Dreamcast free. People say the Xbox was the green, Dreamcast too. Yeah. I think this took the reins from that. Good, excellent stuff. You've got so many quality Sega stuff on them. Yeah. I notice you've got this, is this particularly rare, this promotional one, or is it just... So that's just a sealed one. So wow. Again, quite lucky to find this um, at a reseller, at a car boot. So car boot find? So it was a car boot find, but not a car boot find. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he, he, he just started selling 
at the car boot recently. Right. And he brought some of the most amazing Did stuff. It. But because not many people go there to pick up a sealed Zelda. No, I guess was kind not. Of like the I first guess not. On the scene and <laughs> I've noticed it's, it's, it, how, how, are these quite scarce? These Game Boy watches are um, really nice. I'm not too sure. This this is obviously like a. I think the original ones were because um, I actually had one as a kid. Right. And this is like sort of like a remake one. Like, okay. Um, I actually got that from the Doncaster Market last time. I think it was about ten or something like that. Excellent. Wasn't expensive. Right, I guess we best press on to bookcase two because I'm just panicking about how long it'll take. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so this really ramps up now in terms yeah. of you know quality now. Um, so, so, it's, so we've got Famicom games. These are the only ones I've actually got, which are the Dragon that, Quest. So we've got Dragon that. Quest one, two, three, and four. Yeah. So Excellent that's my stuff. only Famicom games. Obviously, I really love the Dragon Quest series. So I'll just, I'll just drop down and you say I know you've been collecting uh, Famicom Super Famicom for a while haven't you you like uh, I've got some well it stuff. was actually a 2E that kind of got me into this was it yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've been wanting to do the Famicom for years and years okay. I used to collect Famicom when I well I had Famicom games as a kid yeah um, but then 2E changed his view on his video and he had Famicom games in his background okay and I made a little comment and I was like from there, I just started collecting loads of Famicom games. Excellent. I couldn't stop myself. So just lower down than the Super Famicom, we've got some Blue Spine Mega Drive. <laughs> uh, more Mega Drive down here. I've noticed he's got some pretty tasty titles in here as well. More Mega Drive. Wow. It really is in Aladdin's cave. Yeah, so I used to collect Mega Drive games before um, when I used to collect, and I sold them all off because I didn't want to collect a game. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to play these all on ROMs, but again, the collecting board just, you can't stop yourself. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, I mean, it's. In, just going back to Super Famicom then, is this sort of one of your main focuses for collecting at the moment? Or what? Yeah, because my focus used to be PlayStation 2 and 360 when I restarted again. Yeah. Just because there was the ones like the car boots that I could pick up easy. Yeah. But I've kind of come into the end of like what I can actually collect that I actually want. Because I don't want to go for a full set of any of anything. No. I'm not a full set collector. Um, but <laughs> I just love the, these box art. On oh, this. yeah, just the box art. Amazing. Fantastic and out there. It's. This is probably a poor Japanese condition, but in England, this will be a mint, considered mint. Yeah. And am I right in saying, you know, if you are to find the, 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 the Japanese, the Super Famicom version of a PAL, you can generally get it a lot cheaper? Not at all. Not a, at all, now. A lot of the PAL stuff is super expensive. Mm. Like, for instance, like Earthworm Jim. Yeah. If you were to get that over here, probably about 20, 30 quid game. Yeah. Roughly. But in Japan, it'll be about 150. Will it? Yeah, yeah. All right. And there's a lot of games like that. Right. Um, trying to think of. I have got a couple of games that are very. Isn't it the Western games? The Western games. The Western games. The Western games, yeah. games that are like over here. So sometimes they're more expensive over in Japan. Oh, is that where it is? Right. So yeah. I've got Funky Bob somewhere, which is obviously Bob. Um, again, I should have all this. Oh, <laughs> it's, oh, it's cool, mate. It's just nice yeah. just to see it all. Um, I mean, I'll be years and years ago. Um, so I've got a bonk. I mean, a lot of this stuff that's like big, work on that, big in Japan. These are quite cheap compared to the English ones. Yeah. But like as I say, like yeah, the more Western sort of style so games. All, is that the comp? That's, all the Rockman's there then. You've got Rockman Soccer to get still. Well, I do. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got your two Parodius. There's still a third one to get. Oh, Parodius. Well, this yeah. is this is what I had. This actual box is what I had as a kid, well not this actual box, but that, the Pharma, Super Famicom yeah. version is what I had as a kid and that's kind of what made me love the Super Nintendo really. Right. Because everything was like, there was a lot of westernised games and there was a bit, I don't know, it wasn't quite for me. Yeah. I love all this sort of like the Japanese styled stuff. Um, oh, so yeah, you've got, is that the only PAL ones you've got there then? That's my PAL ones, yeah. This yeah. didn't come out in Japan. Okay. Uh, neither did Legend, which is a, a brawler. And I only got this because it was 10 quid from CX because the front cover's faded. Twin Bay, yeah. But again, great game. Yeah. Um, but yes, there is so many. I mean, I'm kind of focusing on shooters. I started off with the RPGs like a lot of people do because they're cheap. Yeah. And I've got like a, a system, a retro freak, where I can actually 
um, put the translation patches on them and play them in English. Okay. But you, you kind of get realise I'm not really going to play these so much. So you want these games that you can just put on and just play straight away. Of course you do. A bit like the Turtles. Again, this probably costs more in Japan than it does. That so that that shocked me in a way because I, I was totally unaware of that. Yeah, I, I would just completely of the the thinking that it were always going to be cheaper for the fam the, the Famicom version. But this is Earthbound, so I've actually got Earthbound, but obviously the Japanese one, which costs ten quid instead of yeah, hundreds well, yeah, of quid. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wow, I mean, like, I was just going to say. So I've mentioned it before years ago at release of. Uh, the Super Famicom, I did actually start collecting, um, yeah. but they just they're not let them go for whatever reason. But they're just so good to see out of these. And the spines. spines just look amazing. Yeah. It's, it's it really pops out in this room like, compared does. to everything else. It really does. It's just got the perfect width and the perfect colours. Yeah. And that's totally what you great. want. You're not going to be playing all these all the time. So no. you want to have something visually stimulant. I'm just. Casting an eye over some of your Mega Drive stuff, you have got some really good stuff in here as well. So you've got the Treasure Land Adventures, that's probably my latest big pickup. Right. This one I actually won off uh, the Facebook groups, so I think it was Did Galaxy you? Sega, yeah? Well Which done. is quite a tricky one Congrats. to find. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> that was one I'd never got quite round to getting this solid. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of German ones on the market now, I've seen. Yeah. Next you've got Batman and Robin. Feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a CX special, that's why. Um, Clone Wars. This yeah. one's another tricky one to get, I think. Which one's this one? Let's have a look. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I got that from uh, a gaming market as well. Yeah, that was, I never again, had that, that was one. only about 40 quid. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I never had that one. Some good games, though. So, into your shooters after you've gone up from the yeah, electronic arts. Stuff. Yeah. Brilliant. And then it's just a mash of everything else. Try to keep the Konami ones, Konami ones together. Yeah, I mean you've got some belters there, aren't you? Just you know, I mean Sunset Riders, Castlevania, Maximum Carnage. Yeah, you've got some proper heavy heavy hitters in here, mate. No doubt about it. I mean, it's easy to get because the heavy hitters are actually good games on the Mega Drive. They're not just throwaway so, titles just because they're rare. Yeah. So how, how do you generally grab your Mega, your Mega Drive stuff and it just doesn't when yeah. you see a bargain? I think most of my big ones have usually been from like markets or something like that. Yeah. And it's if it's usually a good percentage off like the like recommended, what everyone's paying for really. Yeah. I'll yeah. never just, like I mean the Maximum Carnage, I think I got a few of the Marvel games all for about 70 quid. Okay. So I mean it pays for that one game alone and yeah. it's for free basically. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that was where... in fact that was with X Men Two as well. Which was it? I think that's another quite an expensive one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd got a X Men Two off uh, Jay Cyber Snake at Revival. He uh, yeah. he sold me his. Okay, so I guess what dominates <laughs> the cor this corner portion of the room now is Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. And there's... where do we start with this? Yeah, well, it's a... <laughs> I mean, when I was collecting before, this was just coming in and. I, I picked up one and I just never got into the Xbox 360. The games were just too big. Yeah. But then I, I sold all my collection off and I was carried on going car booting and they just kept coming into my room and I just kept playing them. And I was I actually got a new love for the games. Yeah. And the games like Dead Rising 2. Yeah. Um, amazing. I mean, I, I just went for like the things that I knew the most, like Capcom or something like that. I had that on PS3, this. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's probably not the best of games, but it really got me into gaming again. Yeah. Like, into the modern gaming, and I really started really getting into it all. So, how many, would you say, roughly, how many titles have you got at the moment, then? I think about 650 to 700. Incredible. I mean, that's really the problem. Is. I don't, like, record it all, and I should, really. Yeah. But, again, I'm starting to look for games now, because my, my 360 collecting now is more towards going towards... Getting these slip slipcover games. Yeah, I know you're massively that's, into your slip cases, that's aren't you? That's the kind of thing. Yeah, and I love watching all these videos of people picking stuff up because I've learned so much recently it's about slipcovers that yeah. I've not seen before. Yeah, that's the way to learn. Definitely. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Xbox 360 is probably a system I, I know very very little mm -hmm. about. Um, so it's all it's all new to me. But well, I yeah, can tell you've got. We've got some rarities. I mean, 
Again, we've got this that keeps fluctuating in price. It goes Is from that? like 20 to 40 quid, like randomly. Wow. Um, so it's people think it's 50p one pound games nowadays which it is and it's great to pick up but there is a lot of games that's still pretty tricky to find um would how does it compare to say ps3 then in terms of collecting can you still is it easy to get 360 bargains um oh 360 bargains are just everywhere really yeah but um, I think PlayStation 3 has generally more rarer games. That's it, right. But okay. I think a lot of people are going towards the PlayStation uh, 360 just because it's so cheap. Yeah. But there is some, I mean, this series of games are uh, quite tricky to get, the Crash Time games. All right. So th this was Alarm for Cobra on the PlayStation 2, if you remember that yeah, one. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. So they're quite a tricky one. And uh, where is it? It's a bit easier to find stuff because it's in alphabetical order, but there is just so <laughs> many of them, that's the only problem. Uh, right, where have we got? It's okay. You won't think this is a rare one, but this is another really hard one to get. This is another sort of grail game. Too, you right. wouldn't think of it. No. Terrible game. No, necessarily <laughs> jumped to mine, no. But Terrible game. I'll take your word for it. But yeah, I actually had that sealed, but I opened it to play it. And I'll probably drop the value by like half. <laughs> <laughs> I've just noticed there. Probably should have um, kept it like that. What we mentioned earlier before we started filming, there's Shadow Run as well. Yeah, that's actually an online only game, so I've never actually had a chance to play it. I put it on, and you, you get to run around like a, a practice room and stuff like that, but you just can't actually play the game. All right, okay. And yeah, it's not Shadow Run as we know. Right, fair Unfortunately. Dose. Fair enough. Wow, so. But yeah, it's, the international games are the hard ones to get because Kickass is more like a Spanish release. Right. Um, and then you've you've got Truck Racer, uh, which a lot of people wouldn't mind. Um, again, not an English release. Big Ben is the f 505 of uh, the 360, really. They're is the it? ones that are the hard ones to find. Didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. And then you've got, like, say, another one that people seem to be wanting a lot. Uh, I bought Pentagon. Penta Pentacute. Can you say it? <laughs> I can't say no, it. No, it's an odd word. <laughs> Pentacute. Pentacute. I don't know. Obviously, that's never come out in England, but it's like something like Garden Balls or something. But yeah, yeah, I can see why that hasn't come out, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't mind going for... I mean, I'm not going for a full 360 set, but I wouldn't mind going for a full Kinect set, which I think is roughly about 100 games. How, how many is in the, the full set, then, for uh, 360? It's about 1150 or something. Is it? Yeah. So, so I guess in a sense doable. it's doable, yeah. yeah. And Rambo. that's why I think a lot of people go for it. Have you got Rambo 3? I have got Rambo 3. Is that be... a, late, a later game? I don't know. I think it is, I think. No idea, mate, no idea. I think the final release would have been. So, okay, we'll just keep it on this side then. We'll we'll have a bit of a focus at the top of these bookcases because yeah. you've got an unbelievable array of... Um, you know, highly collectible stuff up here. So this is mainly the Wii and the Wii U box sets. Well, Nintendo really, I'd say. Yeah. Um, and then you got a stray Panzer Dragoon Saga up there. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I said when we came in this room, it just reminds me of being in uh, a shop, basically. <laughs> mm. It's got that much stuff. It has got to that point now. It's I have to think what I'm picking up. Will it fit in? And yeah, is it? So it's be... become space is becoming an issue. Like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I have pretty much filled to the rafters now. I have to really think what I'm getting, right. or double stack everything. Which is, you want things on display, really. Of course you do. Yeah, certainly some of this stuff. My last game room, everything was double stacked. It was all just behind things or under beds. And it was great to have, but I forget what I'd have, what yeah. games I'd have, and I just want to see them and be able to go, all right, I want to pick up, say, Wild Tracks and play that today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you, there's quite a, quite a chunk of this stuff up here I'm, you know, I've, I ven't got any knowledge on. Um, I mean, this stands out for me, like I said earlier, this <laughs> box game by looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, that's one I've had for some time. Yeah, I mean, look at some of this Wii stuff. On the Wii U, that's... Probably one of the rarer Wii U games. Not the rarest, but it's quite a sought after one. Especially the box set, how it is. Right. Okay. So that's obviously a horror game. Everyone loves the horror games. Just spotted that up there. Castlevania on N64. Yeah. 
terrible game. <laughs> is it? Is it? Okay, I've never played it actually, yeah. to be honest with you. And there's your Operation Rainfall uh, trilogy, which you've got Xenoblade, uh, you've got The Last Story, and Pandora's Tara. Excellent. So they were going to be Japanese only releases until I think it was an online petition or something to well, get it to get them released over in the West. Really? Yeah. And they were the three that were like sort of targeted. Wow. And then uh, Babysitting Mama, which I actually had a fight over a, a seller at a, a car boot to get. <laughs> not, not, not a physical fight. We both had the extended of the box. Oh no. <laughs> at least you won. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, just amazing. Truly amazing, mate. Really is. Right, let's go to this section, I guess. So he's got the B and O. So they're um, like little like cardboard arcade boxes. These come in them. Oh, is these what they are? Yeah, right, so they're like a right. blind box. Is this what Scott Glory under collects? Yeah. Is it? yeah, that's where I've got them from. Oh, I right. picked one up, and he, he mentioned that he's got a few coming. Right. And uh, he did an unboxing, and I got his spares basically. His what's, doubles. What's this bloody orange CRT? <laughs> Can't be what you find. It's wow. actually knackered. But looks cool, now, though, doesn't it? It's, it's just there until I get a decent one that'll fit that space. I know this, I've uh, I've owned one of these previous life. It's a great um, display. Yeah. I mean, Fantastic. how many TVs do you get nowadays with four HDMI inputs? None. Like this does? Yeah, <laughs> none. Uh, so we've got GameCube there, we've got uh, Game Boy Advance, Look at this Gramble, I had that as a kid. So that, what is it over there? I had that, is that? So this is Firefox? Yeah, I had Firefox F7. That's a good game, is that? Yeah, it's, really it's fine is. in the batteries because they're, they're not it. D batteries, the C really batteries. Really addictive, is that? Got the PAL Saturn with the action replay. So is this uh, all singing, all dancing now then? Yeah, we can play yeah. uh, dodgy wow. games now. In, in fact, what's playing now is a, a dodgy CDR burned game. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We can't have them all. We've got a. Uh, is this just a standard Super that's just, SNES? Yeah, that's just normal. Yeah, we've got, got the... Game 1 for, for ages. That's actually an American NES. Is it? Yeah. I used, oh, to have cool. two. I used to have a normal one and an American one. Right. Because you could see in C, I think C chip it or something. Okay. Um, so you could play multiple regions, but they've just never played right. Okay. So I've got an, an American one, and that's... My um, carts that I've got at the moment are all, well, majority American. Excellent. Because that's the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to collect them now. Um, so Mega Drive, well, yeah, we've got PS1 and N64. What do you keep in these little, are these just your cables? Nest of cables, yeah, so I got around to bagging them all up and putting them all neat. Done but better than I have. But then, he, but then you get into this one. <laughs> all right, yeah. This is more like what mine. Yeah, like. yeah. Just a mess. So yeah. So yeah. Just a few things. So more playstations. Yeah. Uh, guns and stuff like that. Excellent. So more guns there. Saturn gun and stuff. So are these, are these systems, sort of ready to roll? Or um, what would you need to do if you wanted to? You know, there will be. Um, there's a couple. There's the Mega Drive and the Saturn that's ready to roll. Yeah. Just like a flick of a switch. But cool. I've got a, a box at the moment that I can. Uh, well, I've got this one here that could input them all, but it doesn't quite work right. So I bought a second Sorry. one. Right. Bought a second one, and I've not quite got a cable. So once I get once I get that, I can uh, get it all up and running. Okay. It won't take long. But we've uh, we've got a few more consoles going to be getting added to this little. Uh, Excellent. Little soon. Well, it's already. Looking good, mate. I must admit, oh. very impressive. You've got a nice space here as well, much, much sort of roomier than mine. Right, we're so we, we're adjacent to the 360 corner now. So straight away, the main focus in this corner, I'd say, is this Virtual Boy that you've recent acquisition. Ah, yes, from Craig's here again. Thank you very much. Super cool that is. Uh, what else we've got? We've got various stuff. What's that there, Undertale? Collectors That's edition. a Vita game. It's sort of like um, Earthbound, styly, right. but like a bit more black and white. A great like RPG, really. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the PS1 there with the screen. Super cool. I wouldn't mind one of them. I must admit. They do really. play actually better than you yeah, think, really. Really cool. <laughs> got a silver PS2. Is that in that box? That's is it? in there. Oh, yeah. Wow, cool. With both controllers as well. Yeah, cool. So I went down to Game Boy here. So I was telling Eddie I'm I'm starting collecting for Game Boy, but I'm just going down the loose car route. Um, 
because I know a lot of these can be get quite pricey. You mentioned this alien versus predators. Quite an expensive it one. Seems is it? to be. Yeah, I've seen yeah. recently that it's a shopping price. Is there any other and standout ones in R there? R Type Two, probably. R Type Two. In yeah. fact, even them Prodius and R Type. Cool. I think um, we saw the other day that Prodius was about hundred quid. Is it really? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah. You've got some good good titles in here, aren't you? I mean, they're they're, they're here to be played. Yeah. Another one that's quite of interest is this WWF Betrayal. All right. And it actually plays like Double Dragon. Does it? But for the Game Boy. Excellent. It's a GBA game, though, that one. Yeah. So you've got a few of them sort of mixed in. So you've got like the Garden Heroes, Gunstar, Gunstar Heroes as well, which are like the sequels on the Game Boy. Wow. I didn't even know it existed, I'll be mm -hmm. honest with you. Jeez. I type two, yeah. Cool. Super. Dropping down the shelf, we've got some Amiibos and PS Vita. Right. Um, I mean, in <laughs> PS Vita. Wow. Yeah, again, another system I play quite a lot. I've probably played majority of these games. Yeah. Which, for a system, it's for, like when you have as many as I do, it's. Look at this. You don't really get to do that much. Yeah, that's an amazing game. Limited so run. So it's like the 8 bit Castlevanias. Is it? Yeah. Is that sealed as well? Sealed, yeah. I played it. I've, I've downloaded it on the 3DS, and I actually played it on there. Right. It gives it the more blockier pixels, just like the like it should be played, really. Yeah. Whereas the Vita so is too clean. Is is the Vita completely done and dusted now? Is it? No, 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 no. Oh, there's limited runners still supporting it. Other. Where uh, they've they've said that there's no more carts being made. Yeah. However, I've heard on the grapevine that there is going to be. Um, more carts being made by Limited Run. Right. Whether or not that's true, we'll find out well, soon enough. Well, if there's a market still for it, they'll. I guess it makes Massively, sense still yeah. to produce. So we've got even more Vita down here. Oh, that Shovel Knight of Evil is cool, oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. my two favourite ones, them ones. The Mega Man and the Shovel Knight. Wow. So, yeah. Look at this. PSP. Starting here. And also... Oh, I've just seen so that. I've only actually try. picked up a PSP recently. I've I've been collecting these PSP games from Car Boots for the longest time, and I've been just trying to wait for the the right price PSP to come along. Yeah. And I've just recently got it. So I've not actually played many of these. I downloaded a couple of them on the Vita because you can actually download the PSP games onto them. Right. But this is a pretty cool game. So th if you've ever played the Disgaea games, this is one of the printers, okay. uh, which is hello. <laughs> one of the expendables basically yeah and you have got i think a thousand of these to get through to the end of the to Jeez. the end of the game so wow. yeah you can tell that this is going to be a pretty hard game absolutely sorry i just i can't help but just have a quick focus on this i had one of these it wasn't this one there's another one is there a blue one there is a, i only I had the one as a kid recently as that well. is uber cool in it i found out there's about seven is it working ones. I don't know yet. <laughs> Is this, there's one with tanks, isn't there? There's one with cars. I, I think it might. I, I see. I definitely had one, but I remember it being mm. blue. I'm yeah. sure it was no, blue. There's, there is. There's white ones, blue ones, and all sorts. Yeah, oh, that is so cool. To be honest, it was a bit before my time. I remember seeing them, but oh yeah, but they're so cool. I mean, I used to play LCD games all the time. You've so. got to remember, Eddie. I'm ninety. <laughs> <laughs> I remember stuff like this. So yeah, you got a uh, sealed Maverick onto there. It's American oh, it's one, sealed. but. Yeah, it's got the seal awesome, on it. Awesome, mate. Awesome stuff. So definitely, and then the last the shelf, what we've got down here, Amiga, action, Amiga format, sorry. So the, yeah, this this was a cool find as well. I think it was like £1.50 on eBay. Oh, for a bundle? All, all of these. All of them? And I had to travel all the way to Blackpool to pick them up. But, so it, it cost me about 30 quid in total, but totally worth it. I mean, thing this, is, some this people... is what I used to read as it, like, oh, religious, is it? religiously as a kid. Yeah. All the formats, everything. Well, I've and been then trying in to here, get... uh, in that little box there. In this box, this is a little magazine I made as a kid. So we've got. Look at this. <laughs> so in here, um, I think it was a school project or something like that. Yeah. So we've got like little reviews about games. Jeez. So this, is, my dad gave me this recently, and it's pretty cool. It's just a bit of a bit of nostalgia. Absolutely. All about this. Sinclair Spectrums, there you go. There you go. Look. Vic 20. So, you like me have been in it, into this forever. Yeah, it's not a, a yeah. recent thing. I mean, 
mean, I, I, I fell out of love of gaming. Yeah. It was always there. It was always there. Cool, man. Absolutely cool. Right. We're on to, let's call it the PlayStation wall. Yeah. Um, I'll just... I'll just move back slightly because it, it, it needs it, I think, to give it justice to see um, what we're dealing with. <laughs> it's literally the full wall. Um, similar to Sega Zombie, it's got a brand Sega wall. This is the PlayStation wall. And I wouldn't mind betting, Eddie, that there won't be many tubers that's, you know, got as many like this uh, there's a lot of people that probably have but not of the condition like quality mm. like percentage yeah. i mean it's so easy to get like playstation 2 like as a large collection yeah but some of the games it's taken me years to find oh god yeah can i but imagine yeah so the scott brown's got the the blue spines yeah got the white spines. you've got the white spines you certainly <laughs> have met uh okay let's focus on PS1 first, mm -hmm. um, what made you, I guess, concentrate more on PS2 than PS1? Ease of collecting. Just to, yeah. Um, again, as I say, when car boot in and it just started flooding in, yeah. there, was, there was a lot of easy to find stuff at the start. And when I got to about 200, I realised I started collecting again. Right. Because <laughs> sometimes you don't realise you're collecting, you're just no. picking things up. So then, from that realization, that's when I started. Focus. I'm going to have to focus on it now. Am I ever going to have to get rid of them all, or yeah. actually get a decent collection? Yeah. And PlayStation One kind of came with it. I just picked up the games that I saw for cheap. And I actually wanted. They're not so much filler. If I've got filler, it'll be because they came with another game or something. Yeah. So I know. You've mentioned before with PS One, you you were looking to get a full set of the is it the the double box? Yeah. It keeps because I I am full on collector now. Yeah. Um, and it just keeps collecting interesting. I'm not going to go for a full set of anything. Um, so it just gives that little bit of a focus. Yeah. You, you pick up the games that you want to play, and then you you have the collecting focus. You've got a goal to go for. Yeah. Just amazing. It really is. Um. Oh, actually, I have got one full set. I forgot to mention this earlier to you. Okay. I'll bring it around to you. Keep keep scrolling there. There's that much. I don't even know where I should point the bloody camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my only full set that I have actually got in this whole room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the DSi. And you can tell the difference between a normal DS because you've got the two screens there. That will right. only work on the DSi uh, Nintendo DS's. Right. So technically, this is a full power full set. DSi set, not awesome. DS DSi set. DSi set. set. So right. Now I can actually join the ranks of a full set. I'm done now. <laughs> That's all my full set. Cool is. man. <laughs> oh yeah. I love looking. I, I mean, there's so many. We haven't even begun with PS2 yet, but there's so many standout stuff just for your PS1, isn't there? Saying, there is really that, is. A lot of this is like nostalgia games. Yeah. Or games that I want to play that I've seen in the past. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there ain't much I mean, filler in here at all, I mean, is there? There's this one. Oh, this is yeah. one I've wanted for a long time. Yeah. A, a pretty cool YouTuber that unfortunately doesn't make videos just as yet. Who um, would that be? I, I don't know. I don't know. You just... Little, lurks, lurks in the background. Little Scouse bloke. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, can't one that I can't, I can't wait to play that game. Okay. I guess we can't we, we, we can't upset Scott, can we, by not mentioning Dreamcast? This little sort of... That is the, probably the last system I fully enjoyed uh, buying and playing as a youth. I was at college at the time when this came out. And I can remember when it dropped, I was like, I'm not going to get another console. And then all the people on my course all came home with one on the release day. Did that? And I was like, a week later, I was like, I need to go to the shop and buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be left out. And then that was it, Power Stone, straight away. Is it something that you, you know, would you keep chipping away? 
And Dreamcast. I've, I've or... got a couple more Dreamcast games uh, coming through actually. Yeah. But they're actually um, new releases. Right, there's cool still, one. There's still Dreamcast games getting made now. And um, this is real. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I've got a couple that are like a modern release. Right, what I'm going to do is, because we'll get the this behemoth of a collection sort of mentioned first, because we can't, you know, it's, I'm not going to call it the elephant in the room, <laughs> but it's, it's the size of an elephant, and we, you know, yeah. it's the main focus, let's, let's not beat around the bush, it's an absolute immense, awesome library of PS2, as you know, like a system that's been dear to my heart in the past, but we've... Just prior to filming, we've we've gone through a lot of Eddie's stuff, and it, it pretty much has got just about every standout title you can. A few you games can, that I didn't mention probably in my last video. That's a tough it again. That's a it? pretty tricky one to get. Another uh, a it, Metro but, but, 3D, which is another sort of like um, publisher yeah. that people sort of go for a bit, like the uh, Phoenix and the 505. I had the German copy of that. We've got so the English got the, on that one. Uh, look at him. <laughs> showing off, showing off. Yeah. To be fair, Eddie's got a lot of games. The English pal, the the trickier ones to get. Where I I'd settled for the the European versions, but it didn't bother me at the time. I've got plenty of the um, um, the Germans and the yeah, French because I mean, the thing is they all play in English, so it's just at the back. The spiel on the back is is. And you have to ask the question: Do you really want to pay hundred quid extra? That's sometimes more just to have the English the price does version go of it. Up a lot for that, and it's, um, not, it's not worth it. There's no way if these were all English, there's no way I'd have all these. This really does remind me of being in Lee's deals when I'm <laughs> when I'm going over and I'm looking at all this stuff. It's just like being in his shop, is this? It's yeah, his, just his immense, shop mate. Just it really packed. is. So just just maybe pull out a few really tricky ones or ones that are specialty that you're proud that you've managed to source there's got to make it's difficult in it trying to, to think because it's yeah. as, as well because there is so many uh this is a, a recent acquisition i got um still falls 2 right quite a tricky one to find one that no one really looks for or by midas so people go for the midas label yeah and this is probably the hardest one to find of that is one it? right okay yeah um so what else have we got I know you had Gun Club, didn't you? The one that got, were, yeah. It, it always again evaded me. Did that one that no one really talks about. But so guys, this this were a game that I tried to find for absolutely well years basically, and, and Eddie's Eddie's got it. I I never managed to get it. The American ones like f millions of them, isn't yeah. that? Basically. But that's because but it's this, the NRA. Yes. Gun Club. Yeah. It's a re this is a rebranding for like the European territories. Apparently it's absolutely shocking game as well. I, I can it's imagine. Terrible. And that's probably why it's gonna stay in this little uh, yeah, but, but, seal. <laughs> so we've said what did we say? This would distribute a distribute yeah, a lot of the European countries, especially um um what's it called, Portugal especially. Yeah. They used to open up the games and then they used to maybe sometimes put a bit of a pamphlet inside it. Yeah. And then they'd reseal it and then they'd put the, the distributor seal on yeah. the top of it. Yeah. So that's, and I, the thing is, I've not opened it, so I don't know if that's definitely that reason. But I've got everything I'd, points towards that. To I'd me. say that were yeah. yeah, I'd say that was sealed new. Yeah, I really would. I mean, I really the, would. these are the main distributors. It's not like something that you could just copy that. Sure. Yeah. So, so have cool you got? Have. Did you have you got the full five or five set now? Then one off. One off. Okay. One off, which is about hundred games. Yeah. And. It, I I was going first for towards like a Phoenix set. Yeah. But all the games are absolute turd. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> but the totally. five hundred five games is so many good games in it. Totally. I mean, I always heard that there was terrible games, but no. I mean, you've got like Assault Super Viking. You've got um, Rule of Roses in there. It's just. Which I'm not saying that's a good game, but it's a good to good to find game. I think the problem is we're shooting a video in this room. It's easy. It I'm not. I'm not sure it'll do it justice. Another one I didn't mention, um, which I, I these these are the kind of games that I really like. The ones that no one really talks about. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this is like mega rare, but it's not on all the time, and no one talks about it. You probably get. You could probably either get it for six quid. Yeah. But no one really talks about it. And it's like well, you you'd overlook that thinking it's a kids game, which it is. And usually they're but it's, ten it's a like, penny. It's like but I not all say. of them are. No, it, it, it's rare. It's it's rare. Not sought after, probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we could talk about PS2 all day. I mean, look yeah. at that Devil Summoner. That were a 
I mean, again, it's so hard because it's hard to find things out when uh, everything looks exactly the same. It That's is. The only it downfall is. of the system. Sega Game Gear there. Wow. There was one I can remember thinking I really wanted to point this one out. Um, Take your time, I'm just <laughs> giving them plenty to look at. Another one that people always seem to want to see, which is the Q1 one. Yeah, the uh, the legendary Q1. Uh, uh, either Rule of Rose or Q1. Again, I, I had it, it wasn't the an English copy. I um, can't remember. Yeah, well, I mean, the English thing is, there was no full English one on this one. Or no. at least not that I've ever been told anyway. Uh, it's a multi region one. Right. So English at the top and then goes down. Yeah. So I mean that's a great way to save money for the distributor. Absolutely. The publisher. So we've got PS3 down here then as well. So yeah, this is uh, one of my recent ones. I got this actually after a PlayStation 4. I actually bought it because I got uh, Nino Cuny. Um, I picked that up uh, because cracking it was game. Exactly, it's just beautiful. It's, I love RPGs, and yeah. I picked that up with the art book for like about fiver. Okay, and I had that before I actually had the PlayStation Three for about two years. It's right. just sitting there, just like looking <laughs> at me. And uh, along the way, I was just picking up just ones that I really wanted to play. Ones that wasn't so much on the play, uh, Xbox 360. They're all like I'm trying to get exclusive games. Yeah. So so many RPGs on that system. So cool to collect for. Wow. Um. Yeah, I must so, admit, it's PS3, it's it's like a, I don't know, it's, there's so many cool games that you just discover with it. So, I mean, the rare ones that I would say I've got, um, Mayhem, which is a sealed copy. Yeah, never even heard of it. Um, Handball 16, which I've got somewhere along here, because it's not an alphabetical order, this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got Handball 17, which is, it seems to be even harder to get now. Right. Another cool one to get... Uh, this uh, Gardens of Middle-earth, this is actually a code in a box. So the disc is actually a piece of paper. Wow! Which PlayStation 3 had a few games like this. I actually bought this sealed. Um, I bought it sealed, but uh, there's a date on here to say when so you can actually download. So you're a box piece of paper, really? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Did but, not. I, but yeah, the date on the back of it to say when you can actually download it by, it actually passed. And I was like, so... I. Basically, we're just buying it for a piece of plastic and paper. Oh my god! But I put the uh, the code in, and it actually worked. Oh, it did work. So oh, yeah, that's good. I've that's not played good. it. I just activated because once you've activated, it's yours mm. then. So, so, but yeah, another cool game to have. Amazing game. It's like a sort of like a Zelda game. Oh yeah, yeah. Amazing this game. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's it's well known to be fantastic. That yeah. Uh, yeah. People keep saying it's a it's rare game. Here, not right? all. It's just nah. sought after. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, it um, does hold its money. That. Another game, if anyone's got this on the 360, I'll trade you for a PlayStation 3 one. Back. Yeah, this is another one of these. Like I say, the German the Freedom Factory, quite a rare, rarish one to get harder to get, I'd say. Yeah. But I'd rather have this on the 360 as that's my main collection. Right. But I found this, like, really cheap, so I just picked it up ready for maybe a trade or something. Cool. I mean, that's what I do is you, you, you pick things up in advance, hoping to maybe, like, swap it for other things eventually. Yeah. But sometimes I just end up keeping them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, just just things change, don't they? That's it, yeah. So, lastly, I guess on this main wall at the bottom anyway, that's is PS4. Place. Yeah, it starts um, in the PlayStation 4, that's not all the PlayStation 4, obviously. It's bloody immense in itself. Um, so yeah, this, I've really enjoyed the PlayStation 4, I'd say this is going to turn into my favourite system. The just sorry guys, so I'm just many great games on it. There's so many entertainment games like The Last of Us and Heavy Rain and stuff like that. I know they're from the PlayStation 3, but yeah. fully realise on the PlayStation 4, like the graphics are so beautiful on them. But then you've got like the 8-bit sort of like star games or like the 32-bit like platformers and stuff that's been redone in a, a retro aesthetic that I've really enjoyed. And well, we've got one of my favourite games as well, Pang on the PlayStation 4. Awesome game. Oh yeah, I must admit, I think um, Limited Big, Mike, Big Mike's got it, and he were, um, it was, I think he's mentioned it in one of his vids. I fancied getting that. 
Yeah, great game. Uh, I'm just trying one. to think. I was going to ask you if you had a certain game. Have you got Windjammers? No, I don't. I'd fan yeah. mind getting I, that. I think when that came out, I kind of lost the love of the uh, limited run kind of buzz. I would only just get games that I really wanted. I bet I know someone that has got it. This. <laughs> 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 this is one I probably I think he doesn't have. I don't. Which oh, Mr. PS4 here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was, that I actually got. I I was into Limited Run pretty much at the start. It's, it's, I missed out on the Vita game. What's it called? Can, the the first one on the Vita. Well, missed out on that one, but then I got the rest from there. I got. I actually had this on the Vita, but in my house move. It went missing, <laughs> and that was the more expensive one as well. Well, I know it were that wind jam as well. I remember seeing it on Champion Two D Rob's video, and he said it was absolutely fantastic game. Yeah. So uh, it is one I would fancy well, getting. Geo game that one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And another fantastic YouTuber. Let me get this for a that looks familiar price. <laughs> that looks familiar. Yeah. Still steal. <laughs> Still steal. <laughs> get it open. Get it open. I've already got on the PlayStation Three, so. Oh wow. Uh, another one to look out for. Uh, Skullgirl Zombie Hunter, which is part of the uh, One Chanabara series, is it? but instead of like uh, gun, um, knife play, sword play, it's yeah. more gun play. All oh, right. So this one seems yeah, to be rising. Never in... Didn't know about. Didn't even know that existed. Yeah, rising in price. That one seems to be. And one, I'm really sad that like one. It's not that I'm looking for like value or anything like that, because it's it's this is all going to be set in here. So if this game was a thousand pound or a tenner. What does it matter to me? Exactly. <laughs> I know what but, you mean. Um, it's nice to know that something's, I don't know, you're one of the only ones to have it. Oh, where is it? Well, that's what it's about. This one here. I thought this was going to be quite a rarish game. 428 Shibuya Scramble. This is actually a Wii game originally. Right. But it got um, like an English version of it, like mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 4. And it's a, a gra graphic novel, and it's the first one I've actually played. And I got totally hooked on it. Did you? And it's all like um, filmed rather than like animated. Oh wow! So it's such a cool. You can That's go through idea. different stories. Like yeah. all, like you have like five different characters that you go through, and all their stories like sort of mix. And you need to make get them all to work properly. Yeah. To continue the story and such. Such so a is it cool like game. The, the 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 modern version of FMV, but it more interactive? Really, that's what really grabbed it yeah. for me. That's why I played it more. Because I've got a few like uh, visual novels, but right, this is the cool. first one that popped it in because it was that FMV sort of like. And is that is that a particular difficult difficult one to find? It or? was to start with, but I think it must have got a reprint because it seems to be getting easier. Right, I'll have a look out for that. It sounds it's a, a cool sounds game. Something different to uh, to look into that. Well, that's what I like. I like these different games. Yeah. Then we've also got Wild Guns. Did I tell I've got Wild Guns? Oh, I wanted this. <laughs> I wanted this bloody thing. Because that'd be a lot easier to find. Yeah. That got a great a game. I was reading about it in uh, Retro Gamer. It said it's fantastic. It yeah. really is. Cool you game. get some extra characters in it, don't you? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you get an extra stage or not. Yeah. I'm not my favourite game that I played this year, Yoko's Island. Your favourite game, is it? That I've played this year. In um, fact, the last few yes. years, to be honest. It's... Uh, a platformer mixed with a pinball game. Oh my god! So you're brilliant. a little ball, and you and you have these flippers across the world that you use to navigate. That's, across. that's, that's brilliant! Idea. Amazing game. Oh, you like, have to put that on. I put that on there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Should we go across the top? Just talk. Talk me through some of the stuff at the top. Plus, there's God knows how much stuff up here. It never ends. It never <laughs> ends. So yeah, like uh, if you go on the top left there, uh, yeah. you can see the Hyperboy. This is actually a Game Boy magnifier and joystick thing. So you, put your, you slot your Game Boy in and it just turns it into a little arcade. And I actually had that as a kid um, yeah. growing up. Yeah. And I, I never knew what it was. And I can remember like when all these like YouTube videos started coming out and people kept talking about these magnifying Game Boy things that just make everything look horrible, like yeah. just, like growths and stuff like that. I kept thinking it was going to be that, and no one ever talked about it. <laughs> and I was like, I need to find it. I couldn't never remember what it was called. And I, I yeah, I got that. You found it now, mate. Find it. It's actually sealed. <laughs> look at that. I can't tell you how iconic that Virtual Boy looks. Oh, I mean, man. even if I mean I know you're gonna play it, but even if you never play it, it's one of them pieces for me where you can have it. Just yeah. as a showpiece, and it you know it don't lose any of its sort of 
appeal. It's, it's just so cool, isn't it? It's that black and red and the visor on a stand. It just looks and it's amazing. always good to appreciate in it that it's, yeah. you know what I mean. It's not ever going to go down. Well, I've actually played it now, so have you? <laughs> got, got some batteries. Excellent. The only downfall of true retro batteries. <laughs> no one has them anymore. No, that's that's the point. So so you got the Battle Gorega for the PlayStation Four, which is unfortunately awesome. sealed because it's a uh, Korean. I think it's Korean or Japanese. Um, download code only, so it's not like I could actually play it, yeah. but it just looks so cool and it's one of my favourite games. Look at this Wonder Boys, they're super cool, I yeah, wouldn't mind them. Definitely great. Brilliant them. Are they sealed? Uh, the bottom one is, the top one is, is and I opened it up just to see what was inside it, because it's a really good addition that one. What's this, Dragon Quest thing? That's a control pad for the PlayStation 2. Wow, I've never even seen that one. <laughs> um, if you ever see the Happy Console Gamer, yeah, he's got that on his shelf, and That's I've it. been eyeing that up for years and years. He's, he's had it since probably day one, okay. and yeah, I had to get it. My <laughs> God, look at that Konami handheld there. That's got that's a bit got of a bit They can't with many of them in a box now, mate. Yeah. Super cool. What's this beastie? So <laughs> this is what I remember wanting as a kid so much before we had. Um, dual shock pads and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, this came out where you plugged it into your sound port of like your Mega Drive or your PlayStation. Right. And every time there was a loud bang, you would he would hit your chest. Oh, so right. you felt like you was in the game, or at least that's what they told you. And I was, oh, I, I so wanted this in all the magazines. It was advertised in all the magazines. But yeah, I saw it on the car boot, three quid. Brilliant. Now that, <laughs> that's the beauty of car boots, isn't it? I didn't think I was going to get that that day. I, 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 I totally forgot about it, to be honest, until I saw it. Got some more PS4 Collector's Editions here. Doom, amazing game. Wow. What's that thing at the back? That's a Castlevania 360 um, box set. Wow. You've got some outstanding pieces, mate. You really have. You've even got, look at this, PS1 Mini. <laughs> and you can probably guess where I found that as well. <laughs> yeah, no, car boot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, everyone will agree, mate. You've got you've got an absolute outstanding game room. You really have. Uh, is these Amiga? These big these box Amiga? Amiga. Yeah. No okay. ST games in there. Okay. Just the just the decent stuff. Nay, nah, don't <laughs> don't diss my ST, man. So yeah, this I mean another co well, console computer I had as a child. My dad had his own business, so uh, he, he had to have a computer into his yeah. into the home. Had the Amiga, and it just turned into a console. It just turned into a games machine. <laughs> Absolutely. Except awesome. it wasn't the games wasn't in big boxes like this. It was all copied. Yeah. As most people have the same. But yeah, love that system. Rough, rough and tumble. One of my favourite games. Excellent. Firepower, I picked this up at uh, Revival. Did you? And uh, this Eight is one quid. I used to play so much as a kid. Yeah. You don't see it. I've never seen that on eBay. I've looked for it for years. There's, then when I looked again, there's one up there for a thousand pound. Oh my God. I'm not saying that that's what it's worth. <laughs> well, you do get some. But yeah, it's definitely worth more than that. Shadow of the Beast, very iconic game. Yeah, you got some brilliant ones there, mate. Beneath the Steel Sky. That was one of the first Amiga games that I collected. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so I asked Eddie when we started this. So sorry, I just saw a plane flash behind that window. <laughs> what the hell? Um, if he could, but I know it was going to be a, a, a big ask, but I asked him to pull out a few choice sort of items to, to sort of focus on. Um, how long do we want this? How many shall we go for? Well, just we'll just you know we'll we'll go for it and. Well, we'll go we'll for first off. We'll go for like some sort of like big hitters that people yeah. a lot of people like talk about and want to have. Yeah. Again, if you watch my channel, you probably see me actually pick these up. Okay. Um, which is the sealed Karuga. Okay. For the Dreamcast, wow, so. which I mean I've, I play I've got it on the GameCube, so I can still play this. Is that a good one, uh, Mr. PS4 man? Has he got a? <laughs> it's a good one, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Radiant Silver Gun. Excellent. But what I like about these, again, it was in my sort of natural environment. It was the Kaboo I found these in. Not for two or three quid, it was good prices, but 
still got yeah. them at a good price. I, 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 there was probably a quarter, maybe a fifth of the price Brilliant. of what I paid. Brilliant. So, and amazing. is that is that the guy that's got more more potentially more stuff for sale? Or? He's got more stuff for sale. Yeah. 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 yeah wow. He says he's got a locker. And, He's he's been ill just recently, so um, I've not been seeing him for a while. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm I'm hoping just to actually go over to his locker one day. Right. And uh, we're talking about the DS. Okay. Um, we've got uh, the Dark Spire. The Dark Spire. Now this is one I wanted for a long time. So tricky you, one you, to find. You like sort of like the old fashioned like. I do. Um, oh yeah. It's sort of like the C64, maybe even older sort of like style dungeon crawler. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the CD on it, and this this one. I think pretty much, I think when I got this, this was quite expensive, and I'd say this is probably like 100 plus now, maybe. Gotta be. And, it's, and again, an Atlas it. yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. But yeah, I mean, it's just the colours on it, it's the purple and blacks and yeah. the greens, and again, an RPG is super one of my old favorite. school. Yeah, super brilliant. old school. Brilliant. So yeah, this is one of my favourites to have. Excellent, mate. Um, another interesting piece, a lot of people like the old limited run games, I love the Vita. This one is probably my rarest one that I actually have at the moment. It's not a rare game per se, but it's the cover itself that is. Right. Uh, which it was only released, I think it was at a PAX or something like that in America. Right. Um, and there was only 999 of these made. And you had to buy three games to get this. Did you? Um, so it was not everyone stumped to the cash to get it. No. So, yeah. Pretty Excellent. cool to have. It's, it's actually an Xbox game, original Xbox yeah, Oddworld, yeah, yep. Strangers Wrath. Yeah, Strangers Wrath. Yeah, yeah. It's like a. I think I might have even had it. Yeah. I think I'm sure, in fact, I might have it somewhere that. And they actually released it recently on the PlayStation 3 Limited Run Dead. Right. Like this year, a Bloody PlayStation hell. 3 game. Um, so, SNES games. Probably the hardest, or at least sought after games I've got. Uh, well, first got Biometal, which unfortunately is unboxed. <laughs> My only <laughs> unboxed SNES game, well, Super <laughs> Famicom game. But. If people in the know probably know that they know that it's worth yeah I'm worth having as a cartridge only definitely and then we've got clock tower iconic clock tower exactly yeah. i mean look at that box yeah. art don't just, just amazing in it really is i mean obviously i'm not going to understand everything that's on it but with the retro is it playable freak, it's oh well, playable, you can change but the retro the, yeah. freak, you can uh, you can get patches for it so you can play Brilliant. but i mean i got it so cheap i mean people pay thousands of pounds for artwork on the walls yeah and that's that's just the same to me yeah i totally agree with you and we've got a, this is, a recommendation this yeah. it's not the rarest it's not the most expensive but this is one i used to play a lot as a kid i must admit on, purely just for that cover alone and what like i say i'm massively into shadow run because i've I'm into role playing games and i've got the like i say i've got the full set of books for it how much would we be looking at roughly to get a copy of this to be honest, I'm not too, it's hard when you've got just, had something for a while you yeah. don't know what the prices are I really fancy I, getting I this I think I played paid about 40 quid for this yeah but I, I think I got it as a good deal at the time but the, what what I liked what I'm pointing out on this one really is this is a good one to get because this is one of the RPGs that you can actually play in can English you? It, it comes up with the Japanese text at the top but then yeah. it's subtitled at the bottom in Brilliant. English which very strange to have not many do that do they no and because of that, it's it's still cheaper. I'd imagine this would still be cheaper than the Power One. Yeah, and it's oh, a yeah. great way to get into it, and it looks so much better. That cover, the gold and the black as well. It's the same artist. I mean, if, I, if I'm just thinking of the the main sort of sort of Games Master book of it. Now it's got the same logo, but this same artist, but yeah. different artwork there. We just had that pretty much. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Just all this is additional. Fantastic, yeah. yeah, I really love that. Back when we didn't know what Cyberpunk was, that was just ingrained into yeah, us. No, we never right, had yeah, no, you're right, yeah, there was no such thing as Cyberpunk yeah. then, mother. We, that, I'll be honest with you, that's one of my favourite pieces of, uh, yeah. I've seen today. Yeah. Really is cool, really so, super cool. And probably to bore everyone to sleep, but really cool for me, uh, my favourite Xbox 360 games. Well, at least collectible. <laughs> I'm glad you added that bit. <laughs> People always go on about this as the rarest game and everything like that, which... yeah. It's sought after expensive. It's always on eBay. There's always four or five copies on okay. for uh, some silly, crazy price. But this one to me is my crown jewel. Um, this is one that you'll see once, twice, maybe a year on eBay. Really? But it will go for a fraction of that. Yeah. So it's. I like to. I like to highlight things like this because that is good. I like good point. Yeah. I like. I like these unusual stuff. This is the stuff that I like to look for. So we're saying horse and my horse and me too <laughs> will go for more than that. 
Definitely. Wow. I mean, Definitely. that's it's so wrong, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. man. That is just... But this, it, it's actually, I think, why this is so rare is because it's an expansion. Mm. It's not a full... It is a full game as a game, but I, I think it... You have to have the code and everything like that to make it work as this. Yeah. I mean, look at that. You've got like artwork inside it and everything like that. I mean, you don't have that nowadays. No, you don't. No, you don't. That yeah. is cool, man. Cool. End of an era is the 360 for that. Brilliant. Right, mate. Uh, we'll sort of wrap it up. I'm just going to... A couple of things we still need to do. Um, as is customary with any game room tour. So I've been teasing Eddie um, about this PS2 game. I know he's not massively into his jack ps2 but i'd said obviously trying to think of a game that you <laughs> you haven't got were going to be mission impossible so it had to be jap but what i tried to do is i tried to think of a game that would tie into um a pal game now i'm just going to make sure that you've got the pal version of the part one of this are we in alphabetical order we are aren't it's we pretty much just point me in direction of m where am i mm -hmm. m M, M, M. M's here. Just want to make sure. That and then you... it's on the other side as well, just to make it easy for you. Okay. Oh, you might not have it, you know. You might... Oh, no, you've got to have it. You've got to have it. You might not have right, it. what I'm going to do is I won't, I won't try and find it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it could be I'm, go I'm going to show you the cover. You won't get it by the title, but you've got to try and guess okay. just from the cover what this is an, a Jap exclusive part two of. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna see I'm gonna test you your PS2 knowledge and see how long it takes you to get it. And now if oh, I show no. you if I show you the spot. back, you're gonna get it straight away. Oh, so it? I need yeah. I need to show you the front, alright? Oh yes, mosquito. Yeah, he's done it! <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I so, that, yeah. That's yours, mate. Oh amazing. Um, yeah, it unfortunately, it on the pile, so. No it didn't. Unfortunately it's missing manual, but <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> It's worthless. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, I was just going to have to get a Japanese PlayStation 2 now <laughs> to go with my others. <laughs> but thanks ever so much for letting me see this amazing collection. It's, it's been just mind-blowing. It really has. Like I say, there can't be many as good as this. There might be, but I probably won't see them. Um, it's been really good, mate. Really enjoyed it. Uh, and we haven't been ignoring this guy. Here he is, look. Hey. Called him Mr. PS4. Look Dylan Craven. Uh, he's uh, looking after Fidget. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's looking um, after the animals do for do us. Yeah. Um, maybe one day Dylan will let me see his uh, collection as well. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, talk, maybe. We're going to try and talk him into getting on tubes. <laughs> 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 we'll do his best. But yeah, right. Thanks, guys. Ever so much for watching as usual. Please like, share, and sub. Um, we'll all see you soon. Okay, take it easy. See you later. Wow. Cheers. Long live the retro.